Welcome to Season 2, Episode 4 of Anchor News Now. I'm Carter Burke. And I'm Tyler Burke. Last Friday, the Shoremen defeated the Amherst Comets on homecoming night with a score of 32-27. After the Comets scored the first touchdown, the Shoremen quickly came back with a 23-yard touchdown from Wade Nelson. Following a stop by the defense, Jake Bova ran it in for a touchdown, making it 13-7. Later in the second quarter, Derek McCrum took the handoff for a 27-yard touchdown, bringing the score 20-7. Just before halftime, Amherst threw a touchdown pass, making it 20-13. After a tough third quarter, Amherst ended up scoring again, tying the game 20-20. Going into the fourth quarter, the Shoremen knew that they needed to score, and they did with a six-yard touchdown run to Jake Bobo. With less than five minutes remaining, Derek McCrum secured the game with a touchdown, making it 32-20. Despite a late touchdown from Amherst, the Shoremen were able to hang on with a final score of 32-27. What was your best memory of homecoming weekend? My favorite memory was probably the parade. How about you? Well, the Anchor News Now team captured all of the sights and sounds from homecoming weekend, including my favorite, the game. Take a look. Another handoff to Nelson, this time handoff to Boba. There by Carter as he shows off until he reached the one. Crum, and he's able to get in for the touchdown. Nice little end around there to McCrum. This is out and yeah. drives number two Draga into the end zone with our post game analysis brought to you by Lake T Apparel. If you have been riding or walking near Veterans Park, you might have noticed the new crosswalk signs and bike lanes dedication. Randy Nolan's bike lane was recently dedicated by the city of Avon Lake to honor the lane's namesake, Randy Nolan's, who was killed by a drunk driver in 2019. Here's a story produced by myself and Jake Zick. Randy Nolan's volunteered for Avon Lake's planning commission. He served for more than 25 years of service, and he served as the commission's chair. On June 6, 2019, while Randy was doing his daily biking on Lake Road, he was hit and killed by a drunk driver. He was only 66 years old when this happened. Following Randy's death, the Public Safety and Health Committee began to look for ways to improve road safety immediately. Avon Lake spent over $3 million in funding for improving the safety. This included repaving all of the roads and widening the bike lanes from 4 to 5 feet. They also named all the bike lanes after him. In addition to all of this, they are still working on getting all of Lake Road to have sidewalks on the north and south side of Lake Road. 
The Super Bowl is a friendly competition between both schools to see who can pack the heaviest truck full of donated canned foods and paper products. Monetary donations are also accepted with each $1 counted toward five pounds of food donations. All donations benefit the local pantry at CRS, Community Resource Services, benefiting local families. Donations are accepted at all Avon Lake schools with the final weigh-in on October 20th during the football game at Mark Wahlberg Chevrolet Stadium. Let's show the strength of our community by supporting this cause. Safety is the number one priority for students at Avon Lake High School. From traffic safety to bus safety rules, our reporters Ava Shieldwatcher and Emma Kayton share their latest in student safety around the school. With buses traveling throughout the neighborhood in the morning and afternoon, it's important to refresh knowledge about school bus traffic rules. We had the opportunity to interview Officer Hurd. Take a look. What are the new bus laws? Well, the new bus rules uh, handed down about two years ago. The city uh, council came down with a, a law that prohibits anyone that um, doesn't stop for a stop school bus, a minimum fine of $500 and up to 30 days in jail. And uh, it basically comes down to that a lot of drivers don't understand on how the bus works until they actually open the door is when the red lights come on and the stop sign comes out, okay? There are cameras on the school bus that uh, record everything. So normally we will actually get a call after the fact. So then we have to review the video. And then at that point, that person gets cited if they don't stop for that school bus. At the beginning of school, traffic and school safety has always been important topics in the school district. Um, well, the number one rule is to slow down and make sure that we're going nice and slow, okay? Um, the speed limit signs are a little bit more deceiving because it says, say, 15 miles an hour. Um, I think that's a little way too fast. I think if people go at least a minimum of 5 to maybe 10, that would be it, okay? But I, I have seen a lot of times when um, kids are kind of crossing the the parking lot just to get to their parking space. Ideally, they should drive all the way to the end of the lot to their, to their lane and then drive down the parking lot like a normal street and then pull into their parking space. Um, on the junior side, um, over here on the south side, it kind of gets a little bit confusing. And again, we were talking about young drivers and new drivers that they have to really be careful on yielding the right of way of the traffic that are coming in from the traffic light off of 83. How can we stay safe outside of school? Well, staying safe outside of school is I never want to, I don't want to see ever anybody by themselves. They always should be with somebody or with a group of people. Um, yes, it's Avon Lake and I, I feel that we are a very safe community, but it's always good just in case something may go awry that somebody else is there with you. You're not always by yourself. I don't like anyone to be by themselves. When you have to juggle after school activities, assignments, a job, and more, life can be stressful. Even outside pressure from friends, family, and social media can be overwhelming. That's why Anchor News Now came up with a new segment to share ways to help relieve students' stress. So without any delay, here is the Mental Health Minute with Kenzie DeBan, Amanda Duffy and Chloe Beckler. Hi, I'm Kenzie DeBan. And I'm Chloe Beckler. This is Mental Health Minute and today we're talking about ways to cope with stress. That's all for today on mental health. Hope you're not stressed. See you, See you next, next time. time. Last week was Spirit Week and Friday we had a pep rally. Seniors faced the staff in a volleyball game and participated in many other challenges and events to celebrate homecoming. And with that, welcome to season two of Miked Up. She serves hard. <laughs> I would not want to get in the way of that. Did you hit that? 
You hit that? Did you tip that? Jeez. <laughs> All right, that one almost hit me. Can it be me and Kayla? Please? Can it be me and Kayla, please? Wait, you're on the scooter? Do you want to be on? Okay, you be on the scooter. Go, 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 Good. And then just grab shoulder pads, throw them on his head. Anything to say? Is this Anchor News? I love you, Anchor News. Thank you so much. You're the best. Is it Anchor News? Oh. I'm in the front. You're in the back, in the back. No, I'm not. No, you gotta be in the back. I'm, you're the no, front. you're the anchor. I'm in the front. The strongest you person it. goes in the back. Yeah, you're, no, trust me. You, you got front. Or back, back, back. Shoes, regrip the shoes. Everybody, regrip the shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, regrip the shoes. Get a little spin white. Regrip them. Trust me. Let's go, sophomores. Oh, come on, Joe. Yes. Now look, look, lick your hair. Give a little. That's nasty. Do it. That's nasty. No, it's not. Trust me, do it. No. Just, just give her a little wipe. Did they do that? Yes, everyone did it. Ooh. See, look at he's he's dripping, dripping. Well, that's a wrap for this episode. I hope everybody had a fun homecoming weekend. And good luck to the Shoremen as they take on Illyria this week. And, may, and remember, you can watch this episode and many more with new episodes weekly on our YouTube channel, Anchor News Now. And don't forget to subscribe for more Anchor News Now. I'm Carter Burke. And I'm Tyler Burke. That was something